What's up you amazing hackers, hope you're doing well today, welcome back to the channel. So I have 5 advantages of Docker over a regular virtual machine for you guys and I hope you will enjoy it because I really like doing Docker and all of that kind of stuff and I'll tell you guys exactly why. Let's start off with number 5. For me I can always copy and paste, I don't need to install guest editions and that's a huge advantage because I like to keep my notes on my host system and I don't want to keep them on some strange virtual machine. That's really important for me because uh, it's much easier to print from my host. I can just transfer the files from my host. I don't need to mount any shared folders. And when if you install a virtual machine, often you still have to install all, all of the guest editions. It's a little bit fumbly with all of the stuff. Like I still haven't been able to get my Kali up and running with VirtualBox. So I can avoid all of that stuff if I just use Docker. Now onto my next point, which would be number four. Uh, I can just easily move machines and if I do I can just re rebuild my docker compose file and it will all be there. Everything that I need will be on my new machine and I don't have to start up a virtual machine. I don't have to do all of the heavy lifting anymore, install any of the tools. Simply docker uh, install, docker, con uh, docker compose and there we go. That's all. Now on to my next point which would be number three. And that's a very important one for me, whichever system I'm on, whether it be macOS, whether it be Linux, whether it be Windows, I can use all of the tools available. Because Docker doesn't care about uh, what kind of tool you're using, you know, it, it, what kind of host operating system you're using. You can install all of the tools into Docker and it will automatically pull in all of the dependencies that you need. So that's why Docker is a really interesting option for me. Now on to number two, I can install a whole lot of stuff on my system and I don't have to worry about polluting it. It's really interesting to run things into a container because sometimes I have to install, for example, some Python dependencies that don't like each other and I can just keep them in their own container and start them up when I need to and you will have no interaction with each other. Also, if I have some conflicting programs, for example, if I have two programs that have to run on port 80, I can just start up two different Docker containers and I can route one port 80 to, for example, port 80 and I can write, route the second container's port 80 to a different port, like, for example, port 81. And that's how I can still manage to boot up two programs that have to run on the same port. Now, on to number one, it takes a whole lot of less resources than a virtual machine. This is a big one for me because virtual machines, if I have to run at more than one, I have to get in like a huge air conditioning unit. I have to get an ice for my computer because it gets so warm and I'm afraid my RAM modules are going to explode. So with Docker, I can easily start up at least four, five, six containers without having to worry. And I can just let them all run in the background. So those are some advantages of Docker. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I wonder what do you guys think is an advantage over Docker from some of the other tools out there? Let me know in the comments below. So I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you in the next one. Bye everybody.